morning. Last night, Kurt and I filmed a Q&A, which is already up on my channel, so you should check it out. But I had a glass of rosé, and anytime I have wine of any sort, the next morning my face just gets super puffy. So trying to fix that, I literally had one glass, and my face just feels puffy. <sighs> hate that. I also didn't sleep very well, so... That could also have something to do with it. But anyways, hi, good morning. Uh, welcome back to 12 Days of Vlogmas. Today is going to be a bit of a self-care day. I have been extremely stressed the past couple of weeks and I've not taken a lot of time for self-care and it's definitely showing. Like my nails are just nasty. I haven't done a face mask in a long time. I just need to kind of get myself back together. Um, so I thought, why not turn it into a little self-care day while I have the time to. So, but yeah, we're just going to be doing some things here at home and practicing some good self-care. I already washed my face, but I am going in with a face mask. This is the Summer Fridays R&R mask. I just have like the little mini size of it, but I love this. It is so nice and moisturizing. Um, um, it has like little beads in it, but they're not... I wouldn't say they're like exfoliating because you guys know I hate physical exfoliants i prefer chemical exfoliants so i don't this doesn't like feel like anything it's just like little beads but i mean if your skin is super sensitive maybe i would be a little cautious with this product but and then going over top of that i'm applying the pixie fortify toning eye patches i love these things i keep them in my skincare fridge and so then when I put them on, they're like super nice and cooling and it helps with puffy eyes. It just feels so nice. So keep this little spatula thing and I just kind of scoop them out. It feels so nice on my skin. I just put them on like right over the face mask. It feels so good. I'll leave this on for probably like 20 to 30 minutes depending on like what I'm doing we'll just kind of start getting ready and then I'll just take it off when I'm ready to get ready I'm also taking this squalene oil I mentioned this in another video I've been loving this stuff I'm taking a tiny bit on my finger and putting it on my lips because they are so dry right now and cracking and it's just not cute so you guys saw me make my morning coffee. I'm enjoying it. I think right now I'm just going to make some breakfast. I'm not really sure what I want to make, but I'm going to make some breakfast. I have a video going up in about 15 minutes. I have it scheduled, so I'm just going to get that ready to go. Yeah, we're just going to have a nice and slow morning. I like taking time to just enjoy my mornings and... Yeah, I feel like it kind of sets me up for success that day if I like take time in the morning for myself. So. Okay, it has been a good amount of time. Getting ready to take Ivy on a walk. Are you excited? Hi. Are you excited to go for a walk? Come here. Oh, my girl. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, thank you so much for the kiss. 
That's so nice. Oh my goodness, that was a big yawn. That was a big yawn. Okay, heading out, gonna take Ivy for a quick walk and then we'll be back. You ready to go? You ready to go? Okay, let's go. Ivy. Hi, babe. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Okay, bye, I'm cold. <laughs> so it is a little bit later in the evening now. Um, I've just kind of been spending the day like picking stuff up, getting organized, wrapping Christmas presents. Just a very chill day and I'm really liking it. But I wanted to um, show you guys the Skims order I just got in. Well, I got it in yesterday, I think it was. Yeah, I posted on Instagram, but um, I wanted to do a little unboxing on here for you guys because I'm really excited about the stuff. When they had their restock of their um, essential bodysuits, I wanted to make sure I grabbed some because I have a couple bodysuits from them already and I love them, but these are like the ultimate bodysuits. So I grabbed three of them and I have to say I am obsessed with their packaging, it's so cool. So, I thought I'd do a little unboxing. I get the size small medium and it fits really well. But this is the first one. I got the Onyx black color. It's just a basic long sleeve bodysuit. It's a really nice stretchy, like look how stretchy this is. It's a really nice stretchy material, so. It's one of those pieces where like I can layer it with so many different things. So I feel like these are really good essentials, hence the name essential bodysuit. <laughs> um, the next color that I got was Tiger's Eye. This is very similar to like the Sienna shade that they sell a lot. I actually have a couple of bras in that color and I love that color. So this is the long sleeve bodysuit in Tiger's Eye. It's like a nice warm skin tone color again same stretchiness all of that and the last color i got was smoky quartz so it's like a dark chocolate brown which is definitely in this year chocolate brown is like what everyone is raving about but it's just again the exact same bodysuit just a different color but i love this color 
So, I just picked these up. Nothing too eventful, but I really love these colors. So, yeah, really great closet staples. I highly recommend Skims. I know a lot of people are kind of iffy on, like, celebrity brands. Like, if they come out with clothing line, skincare line, makeup line, you know, it's not always the highest quality. But because they're a celebrity, you know, people will buy it. Um, but Skims is very different in the sense that it's actually, like, really high quality and i think the price reflects that for sure but um each sorry the heat just went off now like you're definitely getting your money's worth when it comes to skims products i have um a couple bras i have a few body suits and i have a pajama like sleep set from them and i love all of the pieces and like nothing has gone down in quality after washing it like they're all really high quality pieces so i mean you're definitely getting your money's worth when it comes to skims so um kurt is taking ivy out he wanted to take her across the street in the field and i'm going to start dinner we have some really nice like all natural ground beef that we wanted to use and I had some pasta sauce in the fridge that I wanted to use up. So I wanted to do like just good old spaghetti and meatballs and a really nice Caesar salad. Um, Kurt wanted a meatball sandwich so or a meatball sub. So I'm going to make a little bit of pasta for myself and I'm going to make him a meatball sub. He already has the meatballs like prepped and everything. Um, we like to put panko breadcrumbs in them, so he did that, and now it is my job to put them in the air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, I highly recommend getting one because we use ours multiple times a week for sure. Just comes in handy, so. Okay, we had the meatballs in the fridge so they could kind of form and chill a little bit. Put onion, panko breadcrumbs, Italian seasoning, all of that. Now it is time to put them in the air fryer so when you put stuff in the air fryer you want to make sure like it's all spaced out if you're putting multiple things in there like you don't want too many things overlapping because then it's not going to properly cook so I'm not gonna do all of the meatballs I'm gonna do like a little over half of them and then I can do the other half once these are done. So, here we go. Okay. Starting with 10 minutes, and then I'm just going to get the pasta going. Okay, the pasta I am using is the Trader Joe's Organic Yellow Lentil Brown Rice Pasta. We actually already opened this, so I'm just going to use the rest of it up. But it's gluten-free, spaghetti noodles, and they are really, really good. So, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, highly recommend. So, my plan with the sauce is I'm going to put it in this big pot here with some garlic cloves. Let that start simmering, and then when the meatballs are getting close to done i think i'm gonna put them in there so that part of the pasta sauce can kind of like start to get into the meatballs oh, it's been so many times many ways merry christmas Many times 
so good mm -hmm. finishing up dinner it is smelling very good i have all the meatballs in the sauce and the noodles are done they are just oh, staying warm too. yeah because i don't want a meatball sub oh. so i'm gonna do like pasta probably don't need this so yeah the noodles i just have them in the microwave to keep them warm but it's looking really good added a little bit of extra onion to the sauce and i think it helped Mm -hmm. It's really good. Oh, yeah. We should do roasted garlic more often. We should do a roast. Just anything. Roasted. You know what we should do? Roasted vegetables. No, you know what we should do? What? A cook with us video. A cook with us? Well, That'd they're be cooking with us right now. Yeah, but like a full, like, dedicated video, like, that's true. cook with us. I think that'd be really fun. How was your supper? Was will, it good? Will you help us cook? little bit come here. how have you been today good are you happy you got your supper have some rosé left over from last mm -hmm. night's q a session right. not much of a rosé person but this one's actually pretty good rosé rosé oh my god i have a brand idea rosé rosé yeah the rosé for bros guys shouldn't be ashamed of drinking rosé even though i don't think it's I r really am not a rosé person either. Rosé for the brosé. This one isn't bad, so I'm going to drink it. Do you want an ice cube? Here you go. She says thank you, Mom. Okay, explain what you are doing for the meatball subs. I'm toasting up the bread, putting a little cheese on there to melt. Mm. Mm -hmm. We got um, ciabatta rolls from Costco. It comes with like 20 of them, but Fuego. they are very good. The sauce is in there. Like I said, I have the pasta in the microwave. Just dished out the salads. Um, I realized we were kind of running low on lettuce, so it's mainly like a cucumber salad, but hey, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. And other cheese. Somebody threw up the mozzarella. Because it was bad. It, I looked at the bag and it was literally like. I ate some yesterday. Nasty. Yeah, you probably should have. I'm just fine. You don't even have thumbs. You stinkle. She says, wait, I don't. She says, wait, wait a second. Oh, yes. Spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, we've got our dinner out. We're just going to sit and enjoy our meal. And. Is it good? We'll catch you guys in a little bit.
Now it sure does look swell, Clark. Thanks, Eddie. Oh, I hope it enhances your holiday spirit. <laughs> Dear Catherine. Eddie? <laughs> Good morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.